In an instant, what had been a normal day can become that day. And you find yourself wondering, when that day comes, when that call comes over the radio, how will I respond? My first date with Paul was actually to the boat basin. Um, we went there just to go for a walk and kind of hang out and talk for a while. And it was special. We really got a chance to get to know one another and uh, find that connection about us. I remember when I met Paul because uh, it was my first day as a sergeant. He told me if I needed anything. He had been in the precinct for a very long time. You couldn't ask for anything better. Somebody that knows what they're doing. He knew everyone. You know, he could navigate, uh, you know, in the school settings. He could navigate the principals, the parents, the students. There's no doubt that he uh, molded the younger men and women that, that are in this precinct. He took a lot of them under his wing and taught them how to do the job the right way. As a sergeant, the number one thing is you want the men and women that are standing there in front of you going home in the exact same way that they that they came in. The epitome of what any CEO really wanted in a supervisor. The calmest, humblest, most easygoing person you'd ever meet. We got married at Town Hall. We had a very private ceremony, which was nice. It was a way of keeping it just us. He was always the first call for everything. If Paul showed up or you called Paul, you never felt like it was out of control. A uh, true professional in that aspect. One of the four three for me was a really eye-opening experience. It's a very close-knit precinct. Tremendous amount of hard-working men and women, police officers and civilians alike. A tremendous amount of support from the community. The members of the four three precinct, they're, they're a great, great group of men and women. We're a great big family there. The police department is a big family, but you know when you work in a place where it's just go, go, go. You really develop a very close bond with the police officers, the sergeants, the lieutenants, the captains that work within that, that, uh, that precinct. He was a family guy. It was all about being together and spending time together and being home in our house together. He would go to the end of the world and the end of the earth for his boys. They were his everything. The boys would hear the garage door open and they would go running to the door and wait. He loved seeing them, the smile on their face. And that was the most exciting time of the day is when Paul got home from work. It's not like you know, the job we do, it's not like the movies where, you know, there's some suspenseful music that tells you life is about to change. We were all, we lived that day for the rest of our lives. It was just about the end of tour. Anything can jump off at any given moment and you kind of just might want to be ready to go. Paul was still on the street. Paul's listening, here's a gentleman that was holding a woman captive, now he's driving around. You know, Paul could have just looked the other way and said somebody else handle it, but no. Paul saw it, then Paul sees the car. Came over the radio, as calm as he always does. Yeah, I got the car. It's in front of me, heading down this block. They're moving up onto the scene. With our gun's out, telling him to put his hands up. Paul took the lead, went up there, yelled gun. Man, a gun, gun. It was a gun. I was able to get cover as I simultaneously just hear gunshots ring out. Instantly I knew um, Paul wasn't, wasn't, wasn't doing well. Just as quickly as it started, it was over. We all take this job understanding the, the dangers that it poses just by coming in every day, not knowing if today's gonna be the last. Get to the hospital with him. Yeah, he was laying right next to me, getting worked on. And uh, then they wheeled him into surgery, and that's the last time I saw him. Until uh, the police commissioner came and told me he had passed away. From the moment I stepped foot in that hospital that day, someone was by my side, and I was never left alone from that point on. And I think that's what's helping me get through. You know, I hope, through her tears, Lisa was able to see that she is loved and that her family is loved. The 43rd Precinct 
is my family. They are not just the aunts and uncles to my children, but they are my brothers and my sisters. And it's not just the precinct, but it's the greatest police department in the world. They are the ones that give me the strength. We will never abandon her. We will never forget her, forget Paul's sacrifice. Especially to his family. We know Paul will always live on in his callous acts of generosity, in the lives that he protected, and in the city he helped make safer.